Hello, it's Dale from The Average Joanne. Today I'm going to be showing you how I stain wood using inexpensive acrylic craft paint. I find this cheaper and easier to use than traditional wood stain. Plus, it gives you unlimited options with stain color with a bonus of being non-toxic and easy to clean. You will find a complete list of all the supplies we used in this video in the description below. I've also included some links to my previous videos that may be combined with this tutorial to help the average Joe and Anne create some amazing projects. While you're down there, please consider subscribing to my channel and tap that bell so you can watch more videos like this one. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to stain an unfinished piece of wood with regular craft paint you can buy at many department stores or craft shops. Use this tutorial as a guide. Results will vary depending on wood type, paints, and dilution amount. I highly recommend experimenting. I save every piece of scrap wood so I can do all kinds of experiments with from paints, stains, and finishes to new techniques like color filling, inlay, and working with resins. Practice really does make perfect. You can find a full list of supplies and materials in the description below. For this project, you'll need some type of light colored wood like Baltic birch, poplar, which is also known as aspen, or maple. Your choice of color and a non-toxic acrylic paint, plastic containers, brushes, paper towels, and some water. I have also included a link in the description for free plans to make your own drying rack like this one. To start, be sure you have sanded the wood to an even smooth surface. I like to use 220 grit sandpaper. Then wipe clean with a cloth rag to remove all the dust. Place some paint in a small container, then add some water. The amount of water you use will determine the transparency of your stain. Now mix well. Apply a liberal amount of dilute paint mixture and even strokes across the entire surface of the wood. Take a wet paper towel and wipe off the paint. Next, take a dry paper towel and continue to wipe down, pressing hard onto the wood. If you are using a wood with a high density, like maple, you may have to go over the surface several times. I find soft wood, like Baltic birch plywood or poplar, will receive the paint better, allowing the stain to penetrate deeper into the grains. Now just let your wood dry. Again, drying times will vary with wood type and paint dilution. In general, I find that 30 minutes is an average drying time. Your wood is now stained and ready for your project. I'll usually give a light sanding and seal the wood with shellac before cutting, engraving, or burning. Here's a look at the finished pieces. We have blue on Baltic birch, red on poplar, and green on a hard maple. Here's an example of a finished project using some stained Baltic birch. I'd love to see photos of your projects using this or any of the techniques from my channels. You can share those with hashtag the average Joanne. You can also find me on social media. Give me a follow and tag me in your photos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.